Whether you're a professional detailer and are used to using a rotary polisher, or if you're just kind of dabbling and want to consider getting into it, there is a new polisher on the market, a brand new battery powered brushless motor uh, rotary polisher from Harbor Freight and it's a phenomenal deal. So this is the new Hercules Rotary, and this thing retails at Harbor Freight for $99, but currently, right now, it just shows on their website, limited time, so I don't know how long this deal is gonna be going on, guys. So if you do want this thing, make use of the deal, because it is phenomenal. Um, so when I first bought this thing, it was $99 for the unit. Uh, I paid $75 for a five amp hour battery, and I paid $45 for a charger because I didn't have any of the Hercules uh, branded setup for the batteries. Well, right now they are doing a special where if you buy a five amp hour battery and, and the charger, you get that for $99 and then you get a free tool and this is on that list, guys. So at that rate, you're actually saving $120 from all the way, uh, you know, if, if you were to buy everything separately, $120 savings. Basically, you get this thing for free and you get a discount on the battery and charger. So phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal deal. There's also other options you can choose from for the tools. I'll put a little picture of, up of it here. Um, but what really sparked my interest, guys, what I've always used a rotary for in the past within my detailing business is deeper stuff. So something that I want to go in and hit really quickly. A lot of times I'm doing, you know, using my 15 millimeter throw a polisher going around the whole car. But as I'm inspecting the car, if there's deeper stuff, I'll go in with a rotary, hit those spots quickly, kind of blend them out. Obviously that's gonna leave a mark, hologram, or, or some sort of uh, marring on the paint. And then when I come back with the 15, cleans everything up, makes it all perfect and good to go. However, there's been a lot of talk online. Uh, I think, I guess, I think it's uh, Ivan and Nick from DIY Detail that really brought this to light for everybody. And that is using a rotary to finish your paint. Now they have a specific pad that they use, their jeweling pad. Um, and I don't have that. I'm going to order, I want to go order, it shows that it's out of stock, but I will have that coming because to be perfectly honest, honest with you guys, I'm not the guy that used a rotary to finish. But with that said, I'm always open to new and fresh ideas for me, right? I'm not gonna sh just shut something down. It looks like I, I get the logic behind it, um, I just don't know, right? So I wanna get that, start testing it out for myself and maybe it'll you know, bump everything up to the next level. I don't know yet, but down the road we'll be testing that as well. So now let's go ahead and hop into the machine itself, the Hercules Rotary. We're gonna talk about what it comes with. Um, we already went over the pricing, even at 99 bucks and buying all the other uh, uh, components, so you'd be at like 220 or so. I think it's still, the value's there. I think it's a good machine, absolutely. Especially for someone like me who's not using a rotary at, at full capacity, right? I'm just using it for spots. Or if we are doing that sort of jeweling effect at the end, finishing the paintwork, um, you're running that on a very, very, very low setting anyway. So it's not like you're putting the machine through the most, uh, uh, you're not beating it up. However, guys, yes, this is extreme value. Uh, again, if you're looking at getting into polishing or if you need a backup or if you're just using it here and there, this is probably the best way to go. At 100 bucks for all of that, it's insane, right? However, uh, for the professional that does use your rotary a lot or someone that, that does a lot of like body work and cleans things up, this is the Flex Rotary, their 18 volt um, battery powered unit. Again, brushless, everything like that. This thing retails, uh, I, I don't remember off the top of my head, somewhere between the, I think 550 to 650 mark, that comes with the battery, that comes with, uh, sorry, two batteries, a charger and the machine. Does not come with a backing plate, but there's a reason for that. Um, we'll get into that later, but just know we will be comparing that this one to this one later on. All right guys, so right off the bat, the machine itself right here, right? Nice design, it's nice uh, kind of ergonomic feel to it. Everything feels really nice. You have a locking mechanism, so you can actually lock yourself out of using it. So while it's in storage, if you have a battery on, you don't have to worry about, like for me, in the, it, a lot of times they go in a bin in the back of my truck while I'm working, moving from one job to another. And without this lock, sometimes it sits weird and it can kind of press up against something and, and turn on. Well, with this locking mechanism, you don't have to worry about it, which is very, very nice. You also have a locking mechanism for the trigger, so when you're using it, you can lock it in the on position, so you don't have to worry about c continually pulling the trigger. Now the battery that I got, like I said, is a five amp hour battery. Uh, build quality looks fine. I've never used the Hercules lineup of batteries, but it does have a nice power indicator. Um, you know, four uh, little indicators there, so you can really kind of fine tune exactly where you're at. So let's go ahead and plop this in. Good to go. Now, as you can see, as the machine sits down, right there it's laying all nice and flush at the edge of the battery to the, the head of the backing plate. 
Um, they do have little raised pieces here that are harder plastic. So when you're laying it on the back, you're not really resting on the head of the machine. It's resting on those two points, which I really, really like. Um, I'm going to show you this. It has a progressive trigger. So I'm going to go ahead and push it all the way up to the highest uh, rating. And I'm just going to pull a little bit. Pull a little more. Pull a little more. Right? So you do have a progressive trigger, which is nice. And as you can see, the machine sounds like it's running very, very, very well. There is a little bit of a weird noise when, once you uh, release the trigger. Just listen to this. You can just hear the grind, the, the, the gears kind of come to a stop. Um, this does require a 5 8 inch spindle, and it comes with a 7 inch backing plate. Now, when we're talking about the backing plate, guys, there is a little spindle lock right up here at the head. So you can press down on this, just kind of give this a wiggle, it'll seat down eventually. There we go, locked in. And then you can back this thing off, like so. And you can replace this with whatever size backing plate you want, right? You can go a five inch, you can go a six inch, as long as it has a five eighths inch, uh, yeah, five eighths inch spindle. I have one here from MacShine, this is a five inch, I also have a six inch, and I'll show you guys how this just fits on there perfectly. So let me go ahead and back this up. Okay, and just so you can see, the backing plate on the, that it comes with is fine. It has a hard plastic insert in the middle. The edges are nice and soft, okay? So not a bad backing plate at all. Uh, the MaxShine one does have more padding. There's no, there, the, the inner plastic is much, much smaller. Obviously this is a five inch backing plate versus a seven, um, but there's a little more padding and a little more flexibility, a little more cushion that just seems to be a little more consistent. Just a side note, not a big deal, but just so you can see here, I'm just gonna hold this in place, spin this guy on, good. Hit that locking spindle, just to make sure everything's nice and tight. There we go. We are now operating with a five inch backing plate. Now one of the things we're gonna test is the actual battery runtime. I'm actually going to take the backing plate off. I'm going to run both these machines side by side. They're both running a five amp hour battery. Pull the trigger, lock them in, and let them run. Two things that's gonna tell us. It's gonna tell us the actual runtime, and number two is it's going to tell us how hot these units get. Um, this one comes with a big D-ring type handle that you can lock in. They have the bolts as well that it comes with. Or you can just do a, a single handle on the side, which is nice as well. I will note that there is a vent here at the head. And when you're running this thing, the heat dissipates through that, which is very, very nice. However, if you have this handle on this side, um, it will block that a little bit. So it'll cause the machine to heat up a little bit faster than, than it would otherwise. Um, so as you can see, guys, the vent is now back behind here. Again, being blocked by that handle. For me personally, um, I run this thing on the other side anyway, this handle. And many, many times I actually don't run a handle at all, um, at least with my, with my dual action polishers. However, with this, with uh, rotary, they do tend to get a little bit hotter up top. And the, the head doesn't fit my hand super well. So I do like to have this, even though I'm still kind of holding the, he the head of the unit, um, this is just nice to have my hand on, just extra support, and I like to run it that way. Now before we go into the actual testing of kind of side by side to see how hot this gets and see the runtime of it, I do want to touch base on the Flex machine as well really quickly. A couple of key features to note with this thing um, that I think are awesome is one, the battery sits sideways, okay? So as you guys can see here, with the backing plate, let me just try and hold this straight up and down for you. With the backing plate, the battery comes and sticks out in front of that. Not usually a big deal, but if you're working on a large panel and you're trying to polish flat, um, that could get in the way. Usually with a rotary, um, you're kind of working with an edge of it anyway, kind of, you know, it's not flat, but if you're doing that drilling process, then you kind of are. So um, that is a concern. The flex, on the other hand, mounts sideways. So there's no pad on this right now, but I mean, it is completely, completely out of the way. So really, really nice. Again, with this one, also a progressive trigger. Uh, also a locking mechanism to lock it in place. Now there's no locking mechanism to prevent it from turning on um, like this one has. So, um, and that's more common than not to not have it. So the fact that this one does have it, it's kind of cool. Um, your dial selector is on the right here on the side, but you can access it on both sides. So depending on what's more comfortable for you, that's really, really nice. Versus this one is just one up and down. It is a tactile feel and you can hear it click as well. So is the flex, you can, you can feel it through and it's quiet, but you can feel here. 
So it doesn't make a full on clicking, but it's very, very nice feeling, very nice feeling. Another thing to note with the Flex is they do also include one handle. They don't include the D-ring. And this handle, in comparison to the one from Hercules, is pretty bare bones, but there's a reason behind it. So the Hercules one's got a nice grip to it. This is just a plastic handle, that's it. The reasoning behind it is, if you look at where the spindle lock is on this machine, it's way back here, not up on the head, which is interesting, right? So I actually reached out to Flex and I said, why is that? And they said, well, it's because we set our machine it's kind of, I, I can't remember what they, a planetary system? I can't remember how, how he explained it. Basically, the motor of it sits back further, then it runs up to here, so the, the motor actually can run at a higher speed, which internally, it, it, which it, it, it cools itself on its own. It does have the vents here as well to blow out heat, but because it's running at a higher speed and a fan, it keeps it a bit cooler, and then the head doesn't get hot. Right, so we're gonna be testing that here. We'll actually feel them side by side, but the head doesn't get as hot and it is very ergonomic. So you can really just palm this thing and it's, in my opinion, the most comfortable way of using the machine. So that's why they don't give you a bunch of different um, attachments for it. Another thing guys, is when you pull the trigger on this thing here, it sounds super smooth when you let go. It just comes to a perfect smooth stop, no kind of grinding noise. It's just very, very well made. So without any going any further on this, if you're a professional and you use them all the time, yes, this is significantly more expensive, but I do think, that, I mean, when you compare them side by side, this is a nice machine and at a hundred bucks, like, come on, like it's crazy. But this one is next level. It is a fantastic, fantastic made machine. And look at the overall footprint from head to head, I mean, quite a bit smaller, so just more compact. Um, it's narrower, it's all the above. Um, as far as weight goes, let me pull off the head or the backing plate on this one just so it's fair. Really quickly, and then we'll throw it on a scale just to see. I have no idea, and, and, and I have no idea what the difference is. They feel kind of, kind of similar to me. Um, yeah, they feel similar. Again, this one just is more compact for sure. So let's grab a, a scale here. All right, so I'm gonna tear this out. It's on zero pounds, zero ounces. I'm gonna lay this down. Again, battery is on, a five amp hour battery. All right, the Hercules is coming in at five pounds, 10.3 ounces. Battery included, no backing plate. Now the Flex, I'm gonna have to put it on differently just because of the way the battery sits. Five pounds, 15.1 ounces. So very, very close. The Flex is actually coming in a little bit heavier um, and that's not necessarily a good or a bad thing, guys. Um, a lot of times it's, it's uh, the materials that they have to use. I mean, if you use more of a robust material, it's gonna add weight, but it could add to the longevity of the product, right? So there you go, they are both brushless. I will say again, this one just feels like it's next level, really, really precise, really, really nice. So uh, let's go ahead, turn the batteries on. We're just gonna let both of these run um, until they die. I'll, I'll make a note um, on how long they last and then we'll take some temperature readings up at the head. And guys, for this test, I'm gonna be running these both at Full power, as, pow as powerful as they can go. Obviously, that'll probably give us the least amount of runtime, but um, <laughs> it'll give us you know, a good expectation. If you are running it at full speed, what to expect. If you're running at a lower speed, you'll probably get more out of it. Both these batteries will fully charge. All I did was just show you guys the progressive trigger. Here we go. I'm gonna pull the triggers and lock them in. And there we go. All right, there they go. All right guys, so as these machines are going, as you can see, neither of them have budged, right? They're running very, very smooth. They're not walking, so the vibration on them is quite low, which makes sense because it's just a single spindle. It's not, it doesn't have an offset, so that's good to go. Noise level, the Hercules is louder to me than the uh, Flex is. It's gonna be, it's just a higher pitch, a little bit more piercing on the ear than the Flex, but again, hundred bucks, right? So uh, anyways, we're gonna keep letting these run. I'm gonna just gonna feel the head of this thing. Yep, we're getting hot for sure. Not bad, but it's definitely warming up. Versus the flex, I feel some heat back here, again, where the motor is, but at the head itself, I don't feel any. All right guys, so I've got my little digital gauge here, this little temperature reader, right? So I'm gonna point it to the head of the unit, unit so you can see where I'm pointing it there. Keep letting it go till it stops, I guess. 96.8 degrees. Head of the unit on the Hercules.
103.6. So there you go, guys. It's significantly hotter on the Hercules. Now, if we come to the metal part on the side, wow, that's a lot cooler than I expected. So all of the heat seems to be on the head of the unit. So 104.3 now. Back here, significantly cooler. At the head, again, basically 104, just about, right? Where's the hottest spot? One hundred three point six is what we'll give it. Again, the flex ninety eight point four is where it peaked at. Move over here. Yeah, so right in the middle there. Oh, ninety nine point six. Okay, on the side here, nice and cool. The back here, that was uh, like I said, that's where I felt it the hottest. We're at one hundred one. So it maxed out about 101 on the Flex, 104 on the Hercules. And just feeling them side by side, it's warm, it's not uncomfortable. Yeah, this one definitely feels like it's dissipating the heat better. Um, but like I said, three degree difference, it's not crazy. Um, so I, I have no issue with the heat on this. It is warm, but it's not like burning my hand or anything. We're currently in at about 10 and a half, uh, 11 minutes. All right, guys, we're in about 20 minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and take another uh, temperature rating. So I'm gonna do this on my phone. All right, guys, so here we go on the flex. On the head of the unit, we are now at 101.3. On the Hercules, we are at 101 to one, oh, we got more. 102.6 to 111. So we'll call it 103 to 111. Now eight degrees is starting to make a difference. Let's go back to the body of it here. Very, very interesting. That was actually a lot hotter before. The fan's probably cooling that thing down and operating quite nicely. Yeah, the overall, the unit on the, the Hercules is definitely heating up. Once again, we're just gonna go ahead and hold them real quick. Okay. It's definitely warmer now. It's definitely, definitely starting to heat up. The flex honestly feels the same to me now. So, as it did before, doesn't feel any hotter. The, the unit in the back, yeah, nice and cool. Ooh, let me take a temperature reading of the metal on the side now. It just feels like it's getting hotter, but I don't know. Okay, so for the metal on the side. Yeah, still not as hot as the actual head, but 106 on metal on your hand is, is warm. So we're gonna check that again here shortly. Um, this one rates at about 35 minutes of runtime full out, so I'm expecting it to be there. We're in for 22 and a half minutes right now. So we'll come back and check on them in a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you can hear me okay. We are currently at 37 minutes. Both machines are still going. Uh, I did a temperature reading. They both kind of settled in. This one's running at about 111. This one's running about 101. So about a 10, uh, 10 degree difference. However, I will say the metal points on the Hercules are running at about 100, but they, because it's metal, it feels much hotter than just the warm to touch uh, rubberized pieces. Just something to note, the flex doesn't have any metal sticking out of it, so just something to know. All right guys, so both of these finally turned off. Again, they were at their highest setting, uh, but with zero load, right? No load of actual pressure or anything like that. The Hercules ran for 55 minutes, uh, and the flex ran for 56 and a half minutes. So very, very close on both. Now with that said, the RPM or rotations per minute of the pad speed, on the Hercules, oh, let me unclick these. Uh, on the Hercules is rated from zero to 2400 RPM. 
Obviously on the dial selector here, you actually, it's labeled by the RPM number. So it starts off at 800. That's the lowest speed on the selector. And then you can feather the trigger to make it less than that. But as far as the uh, selector, 800. On the flex, again, maxes out at 1450 actually. Um, and on its lowest rating, it shows 150. Um, but on selector number one, on the dial, that's gonna give you 900 rotations per minute. So 900 RPM on the lowest setting with the trigger fully pulled versus 800. This one maxes at 1450, this one maxes at 2400. However, with that said guys, I know Flex does their ratings a little bit differently. They don't list the max that it can be. It's a variable thing, at least on like some of their voltage ratings and things like that. So I don't know, and do you need more than 1450? In my opinion, no, because I don't have any issue with this thing at all. Again, when we're working, uh, if you're just doing spot work, you're still, you're not running it at full speed, right? You're just kind of working it back and forth. And then if you're doing the jeweling process, you're running it at a super low speed anyway, so doesn't matter. But I do like the fact that 800 on this one versus 900 on this one on the lowest setting, so I can just lock it into place and go. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, the brand new Hercules, rotary battery powered brushless motored uh, rotary polisher. It's a phenomenal deal. It's a absolutely phenomenal deal. And one more thing to note guys is the spindle. You can see the spindle is longer on the Hercules versus the flexes is everything nice and nice and come back. But again, when we talk about the price, even if you're not getting the deal on this thing, this would be with two batteries. Uh, let's see here, it'd be 75, 75, so that's 150, 200, 300 bucks for this polisher with two batteries and it comes with a seven inch backing plate. Versus the Flex is right, right around that $600 mark with the battery charger and two batteries. Um, no backing plate, so you do have to factor that in as well. Um, where do, which one works for you guys? I think for the majority of people out there, the Hercules is gonna be the way to go. They aren't using it all the time, but if you are a professional guys, this thing does run insanely smooth doesn't get as hot, right? Runs really, really comfortable, a nice compact design. Just all the key little features like, right, with like the battery being set to the side so you don't have, that's not ever getting in the way. Phenomenal, really, really good machine here. Highly recommend it. But I think for the majority out there, or if you're getting into it, or if you need a backup, this Hercules is a unreal value. So go check it out, guys. I hope that video helps you. Um, that's it for today, so please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.